Gung Ho is a business book that presents a powerful and practical approach to achieving success in organizations by harnessing the energy and commitment of its people. The story revolves around Peggy Sinclair, a plant manager who transforms a struggling factory into a thriving workplace using three key principles, the spirit of the squirrel, the way of the beaver, and the gift of the goose. Chapter 1, The Gift Peggy meets Andy Longclaw, a Native American who introduces her to the concept of gung-ho, meaning working together. The chapter emphasizes the importance of a clear and inspiring purpose that motivates employees to give their best. Chapter 2, The Spirit of the Squirrel Peggy learns from Andy about the first principle of gung-ho, the spirit of the squirrel. This principle highlights the importance of fostering a sense of worth and value in employees by ensuring that their work aligns with their personal goals and values. Chapter 3, The Way of the Beaver Andy introduces Peggy to the second principle, the way of the beaver. This principle emphasizes effective teamwork and the importance of creating a supportive and collaborative environment where everyone understands their roles and works towards a shared goal. Chapter 4, The Gift of the Goose The third principle, the gift of the goose, is introduced, focusing on the need for celebration and encouragement. Peggy learns how recognizing and appreciating employees' efforts and achievements can create a positive and motivated work culture. Chapter 5, One Team, One Goal Peggy understands the importance of aligning everyone in the organization towards a common goal. She works to create a shared vision that inspires and motivates all employees to work together as a unified team. Chapter 6, The Spirit of the Squirrel in Action Peggy starts implementing the Spirit of the Squirrel principle by involving employees in decision-making, setting clear goals, and giving them autonomy to make decisions that align with the organization's purpose. Chapter 7, The Way of the Beaver in Action Peggy focuses on building effective teams by clarifying roles, establishing open communication, and fostering a supportive environment that encourages collaboration and problem-solving. Chapter 8, The Gift of the Goose in Action Peggy learns the importance of celebrating successes, recognizing employees' efforts, and creating a culture of appreciation and encouragement. Chapter 9, Lessons Learned Peggy reflects on her journey and the key lessons she has learned about leading with the principles of gung-ho. She realizes that by embracing these principles, she has transformed her organization and achieved remarkable results. Key Learnings 1. A clear and inspiring purpose motivates employees to give their best. 2. Fostering a sense of worth and value in employees enhances their motivation and commitment. 3. Effective teamwork and collaboration are essential for organizational success. 4. Recognizing and appreciating employees' efforts and achievements creates a positive work culture. 5. A shared vision and goals align everyone in the organization towards a common purpose. 6. Involving employees in decision-making and giving them autonomy increases their engagement and ownership. 7. Building effective teams requires clarifying roles, open communication, and a supportive environment. 8. Celebrating successes and creating a culture of appreciation boosts morale and motivation. Gung-ho provides practical insights and actionable strategies for leaders to create an enthusiastic and engaged workforce, leading to improved productivity and organizational success.